Good evening, everyone. How are you doing today? Happy weekend. How is your Saturday going? Are you team Uwambe or team chores or team cooking? Which team are you? Let's see that in the comment section. Um, please, um, can you tell your sisters that we are live again? Conversation by one diva is going I started. Please let's share with our friends. Share the link with your friends in the community. Let's tell others that we are live. Today's conversation will be on finances and um, we we'll love you to also participate. Please, we are live. Tell other people that we are live. I'm also waiting for the other hosts that will be doing this program together. Okay, um, welcome Jessica. Welcome Afadebu for you. You're welcome to today's conversation. And um, I'm going to be having... Are you uh, affordable for you? Please can you confirm that? I don't know if you are affordable. Okay, okay, okay. I can see additional work. Good evening, Jessica. Hello. How are you doing today? Thank you. How is your day going? Very relaxed. I'm relaxing. <laughs> That's the right thing. Ah, well. That's yeah. good. Thank you. How is so your day? Ah, my own day is well. <laughs> it's been stressful though. I went to redemption camp for convention, so it's been a okay. Are you back now? Is the convention ended? Ah, it hasn't ended. We're tending tomorrow, but I'm back home. Okay. Thank you so much for asking. So, Shewa, please, can you accept the invite so that we can start right away? So, um, this is Wondiva Global Community, and um, we actually help women, we teach women, we help women to see themselves as God releases them and um, also help them to pattern their lives according to God's pattern. We actually help women to grow. We help in self-development. So if you actually want to join our community, you can click the link in the bow and be a part of our community. Thank you. So today we'll be talking about um, Are you there? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, today, we'll, today we'll be talking about tips for making wise purchases and wise tips for making for um for making wise purchases and um saving money. So today um Jessica Shewa and I will actually be sharing some tips that we've used and we know. And if you are in the comment session too, you can also sh share some tips with us. As in things that we actually need to make wise decisions. Actually, in this period, we know what's happening in Nigeria as a nation. Mm -hmm. you know, price, the rise in, um, in dollar daily. And you know what the market price is. What you bought yesterday, the price of what you purchased yesterday will be different. By the time you are going there now, or even 30 minutes later, <laughs> it might happen. So we actually so that we can actually survive this period you know and um, most importantly people's income did not actually increase people's salary have not increased we are still collecting most people are still collecting same salary and you are still eating the same thing so how do you survive do you see or eating how can you <laughs> eating or eating more. <laughs> actually people that have children this holiday you know this is holiday period and children tend to eat more when they are two Normally, if, if they are in school, they just eat. Maybe they will eat in the morning, take um, during break time and all. But now, since they are at home, they don't can eat five everything. times. Two <laughs> <Pee -nuts. laughs> So, even single, single married, every one of us, we actually need tips in making wise decisions and wise spending. How do we spend so that we won't be choked at the end of the month or we can actually, we won't be depressed. You know, things that are happening now can actually make people to be depressed and people thinking of even suicide. 
by the time you have you have, you have taken the normal money you used to take to the market probably last year you take the same twenty thousand that you collected last year december to today's market you will be thinking that they throw your money in the market you know the way some of us think you but get like you oh my did not spend you did not spend rightly so now let me hear from you jessica what are the tips you feel that probably you've been using it since this um, basketball started <laughs> what are the tips that you've been using that you can share with us okay so tips i will just share generally because even the tip says it's not tipping again <laughs> <laughs> all it is feels like oh, well, this this code is no longer working but what i usually do is i i know when each thing is going to i know the duration of each, each thing that i use for example baiting soap i know how many weeks one bar of my baiting soap would last me so i calculate it per month so if i say i'm going to use one two or three within within two months i buy at the beginning once i get my salary that's it i go and get it. i know that for this whole month too, i won't buy so okay so that's like an example another thing maybe body care or or snacks for example i know that this snack is going to take me for several this particular amount of months and i make sure that I if I if I finish it before that time, that's the end. I'm not buying it again. So I try to discipline myself to say this thing is supposed to last me for six months. I'm going to use it for six months. If it finish before six months, say go be here. See you when next <laughs> I need to buy. Right. So I'm also trying to teach myself where I'm at right now is not really the tips about saving money, it's the disciplining myself to mm. ensure that I am able to manage the resources that i have right so but i'm not even in that space yeah. here because even the, the tips there you know, <laughs> things are still you know things are just going and they are still going to keep going up so i'm trying to discipline myself to say that for example rice if for example um going out to eat if i used to go out to eat three times in a month before i have cut it to one so it's no matter how the craving comes, I will shall find a way. <laughs> Pray, shout, so shout myself crazy. to say that no, I am not going to eat out any time. It's just once in a month. So yes, that's what I do. I love it. Um, from your explanation, you talked about book buying. Yes, you know that's a good way of saving money. Just imagine somebody that bought um, a bag of rice in January or let's say February or March. Now, the person doesn't have to buy now that they are selling it. Right. Or something, you know, it will save you a lot, a lot of cost and even stress. The mental stress of thinking about, you know, adding and subtracting everything, mm -hmm. trying to make it <laughs> up and up. So, bulk buying will, is always actually saving us from spending more most times so it's good when you buy in bulk when you buy your soap in bulk most times you buy let's say a pack instead of buying just one 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 it's actually good when we actually buy in bulk bulk buying is is just one of the things that we should start doing if you are not doing it stop buying one one stop going to the shop close to you you can actually go to a to a wholesale around you somebody that sell wholesale price look for shops that sells wholesale price not retail that will save you a lot of cost. So we can start. then when we talk about things that are dry, like the rice you mentioned earlier, you can actually stock your house with rice, beans, yeah. Um, instead of buying, let's say, a cup of rice every. Since you know that you always you always eat rice. Yes. So immediately your salary comes in, or maybe um, the profit you are making from your business, your income, just try and um, create a budget for it for food create a budget so when you create a budget for food the money for food go and buy food with it then you do bulk cooking that's for me in the area that they have good electricity they can do bulk cooking you can actually cook for the month i have some people that they do that if you have good electricity cook for a month put it in your freezer you know when you cook you cook it's not as if um, somebody will come and steal it. You see your own. It will save you stress. It will save you costs. 
Most people don't have the opportunity of, let's say, good electricity in your area. You can definitely buy dry that's another thing. That's another thing. So if you don't have good energy, you can buy things like crayfish, a goosey, you dr you blend it, things like that. You can buy things like that and um, keep. So that's we um, always do. Then um, another point I will share is um, we should always choose quality over quantity. Yeah. You know, some people will believe that. Uh, let me let it's plenty. Let's buy plenty. <laughs> They don't think about the quality of that thing. It's just like buying a good clothes or a good bag. When you get a good bag, you won't be buying bag every month now if you get a good one. But there's some bag that you buy in the next three months, it, you see that it's already filling and you can't even take it out again. So let us always choose quality over quantity. Saying, ah, it's three bags that this person is selling for 5K. Let me go for it. <laughs> Instead of buying just one five k, that is okay. That you can even you can use for five years, and you even that somebody safe. You know there are some things like that, but because of we are looking for things that are plenty and all. So when making decisions about purchasing things, you should think about um, going for quality things and not quantity. Hello, Shewa. How are you doing today? Hi, Shewa. Hi. Good evening, man. Good evening. Welcome. So, we'd like to hear from you. What would you have to say? What are the tips you've used in the past, or you are using, or you know of, that somebody is actually using in making wise decisions when making purchasing and uh, purchases of products and all? Well, like you said, my depends on what you're buying, really. Because if you're buying like food items, you want to buy in bulk, and then you could be like you know during the lockdown period everybody had to buy in bulk because going out wasn't really yeah. a thing it wasn't even an option so we, that's when we learned how to you know buy in bulk and then preserve and you find out that things last better if you also know how to preserve yes. when you buy in bulk but then if you're talking about like clothes bags i would say it's better to buy quality than quantity because if you're buying something cheap, definitely in some time soon, you're going to have to buy another one again or the same thing, right? So if I'm buying clothes and shoes, I try to go for quality so that I know that it's going to last me a while. But then for food stuff, you know, the more you buy, the less the amount. And then if you go to big markets where they yeah, sell these things cheaper, you definitely will still see good quality for your food at lesser prices true yeah thank you so much for sharing um jessica do you have anything to say any tips again that you would like to share when it comes to things okay take advantage of discounts take advantage of fair i know that a lot of times they do straight fairs trade fairs trade markets so when you hear that they're having a particular trade fair you can go around and see if you'll be able to you know get some things at a discounted price so there's no shame <laughs> there's no shame in jumping on discount take away take take advantage of, of giveaways yeah. <laughs> yes yes so <laughs> enjoy it take advantage of giveaways <laughs> Why not? Go ahead. So, exactly. <laughs> go and take exactly. advantage of it. Go to trade fairs, right? So that's another way too that can help you save money. Even though I know that some of those trade fairs, some of them used to add the money. They will not sell discount. But by the time you walk from one end to the other, you definitely find something or someone who would give you at a discounted price. That's worked for me so many times, and I believe that it will work for someone else who is willing to try. Wow, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, Bebo, buy four, get one free. Funny enough, this is actually the best. Like, there's something I wanted to buy recently, and then I wanted to patronize someone. And all of a sudden, I saw an status that was saying she was going to do birthday sales. And then, and very still means getting more for the same price. I was like, ah, let me keep my money my and wait for me. You are the wisdom of God. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Yeah. And because you obviously care more for the same crime. So why not just be patient? It's just like a week, two weeks away. Right. You get things away. like that, right? Mm-hmm. So exactly. I've actually done that before too. <laughs> when I wanted to buy my weed, the lady said it would start selling, I think, during Easter. Easter period. So I said, okay, don't worry, I'll wait till <laughs> when you start your birthday promo. Yes. And I was, I got that week. Yes. I don't think that week. Some people will do Independence Day sales too. October is coming. Up. So you will. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so many <laughs> sales. So many sales are coming up. The people will do, so be on the do anniversary sales. Yes. Things and like then that. Black, uh, Black Friday. Black Friday is coming up in November. Ah, November. Yes, November. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Black Friday, there are so many organizations that actually give, yeah. give them this. So you can actually be on the lookout for that too. Another point I would like us to discuss is impulse buying. Mm. You know, how do you survive in this dispensation? <laughs> With impulse you buying. You give me on that one because me, I'm guilty. <laughs> give me six on that one. <laughs> I'm just a spectator here. Let me just listen. Funny how I do, I bought something today that I did not plan on buying, and I was asking myself, "Share why?" <laughs> oh my god! We need to avoid oh. buying. Um, we're talking about um, tips for making purch- wise purchases because, um, like we said earlier, when we first started, that number one thing we should do is create a budget. You know when you are creating your budget, you know the budget that okay, this is the money for food, this is money for let's say church offering, this is money for transportation, this is money for child care and all. And somebody is after doing that, you did not plan that you want to buy a shebi, and somebody is bringing a shebi that month. I know, I don't see first in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see first. My first level never reached that one. <laughs> so your only first uh, buying can be. You can be passing on the road and you saw that's shawarma. That's that's my <laughs> yeah. 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 And shawarma money go inside that bag. <laughs> you try to use money for your food. <laughs> Maybe dinner money. <laughs> you use it to buy shawarma. It shawarma yesterday. Yesterday. It wasn't even shawarma. Yesterday, so I was on my way from work. <laughs> I've gone to the ATM to withdraw the, my my transportation fare for the, the for the remaining two weeks in the month i usually stage it like that two weeks now as i was passing though and so this woman said he boiled grandma hot boiled grandma <laughs> ah, the other one said he tiger nuts milk i said ah, wow. what did you me <laughs> the money has <laughs> gone i spent almost two thousand naira. <laughs> And you cannot look away. Ah, I was not hungry. It's like now the like the only thing that will kill my hunger at that moment is what my head is <laughs> So my own deliverance I started now <laughs> with impulse buying. But the good the, the good thing like I would say about my own impulse buying is the fact that I don't I don't buy big so my impulse buying is not big things like I'm passing I saw shoe banking. I will not know it's really easy. I'll put it in my mouth. <laughs> now we eat. It's important. By the time you add it up, yeah. it will become a, it will become big money. Right. You know, you have to imagine that you need to start buying. Okay, I'll repent. Can you be praying for me? You know, the same thing as going to market to say you want to go and buy food stores, and then you do not plan on buying maybe ugu. You not see the ugu you buy. I'm like ah. Why buy meat so you can go for chicken, you know, and then you're already extending your boundaries when the bonus you wrote was just meat and all. So that was his going. But at the end of the day, it's not for enjoyment, please. <laughs> but it's the same who at the end of the month they'll not be saying, ah, oh, I'm broke. Grocery is not very care at all. Money that you spend, ah, should I should have more spent that money if I didn't spend that money. I will have the 5k by now. <laughs> so actually, oh, oh, my God. You can actually avoid these things. Actually, at the beginning of the month, you know, you get your salary or your income. Make sure you create a budget for you. Okay, this is what I'm buying. This is what I'm doing with this money this month. Instead of just buying everything. And that thing I will ask, um, I will encourage people to do this time is um, moving public transportation or car food. You know now, all these are Uber and Coat and Fly. It's not the same price <laughs> because of the fuel price. So what you can do is 
put public transportation for conversation and if you go for a meeting, for, for instance, if I go for a meeting now and I see people coming from going to my area, going back to my area, what we do is that we just take taxi ride together or we use both together and we show them. That's fine. That is good. Instead of only you doing doing big girl and saying the whole <laughs> Boats, I you know boats can be carry the boat. Oh, big girl. Cry BTS. Cry BTS. <laughs> 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 Cause nobody will just cry with you. Exactly. <laughs> so same person that they will carry can see the same boat that will carry one person can carry four persons at the same time. So let's make the wise. Let's make that wise decision when it comes to transportation as well. Then reduce where you go to. Stop visiting people every weekend. <laughs> Stay in your house. This outside period. is expensive. <laughs> yes, outside is expensive. Except if the best wants to give you money or food. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> For I'm, the I'm, I'm always there. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go. And I will cover for your food. But do you know that there are sometimes, my you know there are sometimes that you can be in your house for like three, four days, and then you feel this sort of achievement that you're not spending money, and then yes. on the fifth day you just go and say, "Bam, ten thousand dollars left." How? What happened? What happened? What is a spirit? Nobody can convince. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can convince. Is it? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so painful. <laughs> Uh, before we move to savings, can we do, do we still have any um, tips we would like to share with people? Mm -hmm. I, think I, have. <clears throat> I don't have any tip. Mm -mm. None from me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, can we move to tips um, for saving? I mean, do you believe that? That you can actually save. I have a sister that is always saying that. Ah, let me save my life set first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus has saved me already. I don't need save me again. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> you save my life. Or your savings will save you in like two days time. Right. <laughs> so what do you think? Are you team save your life first, or you are going to save the money? <laughs> I'm team all of the above because <laughs> the thing that sometimes your life you need to save up. <laughs> right? But I so for me, I try to save immediately money hits my account. Mm -hmm. I don't wait mm -hmm. let's just wait. Immediately mm -hmm. I see like just because I know myself. <laughs> and people are start thinking, see, let me just save my life. Now 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 enjoy I call enjoy. I don't I don't keep it. <laughs> so once money hits my account immediately after giving up my ties, the next thing I do is just put some amount aside and save and save in a place I know that before I'll be able to withdraw that money, the amounts that they will remove from the money will be a lot. <laughs> and the process yeah. will be so hard. So yeah, so I use some of those apps to some of those fine fintech apps to save so you now by the time they by the time piggy vest tells you breaking fee 2.5 percent of what you have saved you will give yourself you know <laughs> that thing can be so painful you so my god i try immediately i get it i put it there and then i and then i leave off whatever is remaining That's thank you Mr. well one thing i do is that i actually save for enjoyment like wow my, not necessarily monthly but then i put like goals for myself so when i achieve and then i save towards the goal so for example now at the end of my exams i'm saving that at the end of my exams i'm going to flex myself and then passing my exams or writing exams well is like a goal for me and then once i can achieve that goal i then go on to eat and, and enjoy myself like so you know <laughs> exactly and then something like that is going to prevent me from wanting to you know buy bole i see on the road buy shawarma here and there because i know that i'm going to have like full blown enjoyment at the end of the day so <laughs> wow that's so good safe for enjoyment <laughs> That's the song. <laughs> to enjoy yourself. Then, uh, from what Jessica said, um, I'd like to summarize 
in this way. Know yourself and be true to yourself. <laughs> you know the type of person you are. So immediately your money is getting into your hands. <laughs> That because we don't just need to automate our savings. Yeah. You know, there's a way to yeah. piggy vest as well. Mm -hmm. so people actually do um, weekly saving, monthly saving. You don't need, you just automate it. And mm -hmm. before you know it, when your salary is just getting there, if you have given it instruction every 31st of yes. the month to 4, 4 p.m., you just see pam pam debit oh, alert. Emotionally, <laughs> just remove your money. Miss Nice, as you wake up like this, they're already taking the money. I, I so fast. Yes, I yes, mean, yes. it never come out functions one day. Nothing ever goes wrong. They are always taking the money on time. Yeah, Why? To help you. <laughs> that they help you at night. That they know it's not this. <laughs> Yeah. So some of us just need to use um, apps like um, Piggyverse, then we can check out some other apps that can actually help us with automation so that we don't spend all. We, we stay for the raining days. Mm -hmm. just, it's very it important really that we stay for the raining days. You don't just eat everything all and say, ah, because I want to save my life. Are you saving your life every month? You don't need to save your life every month. Even if it's, um, let's say, you can even be saving as low as 2% from your salary. You know, some people just believe that, ah, there's a lot I'm going through. Transition. The, the is money is small. That 2%, you will spend it anyway. You will spend it <laughs> now and you will take the broke. Exactly. So it's better just right. be discipline. Just be determined. Most of us, we just need to be intentional about some things. Okay. If you tell yourself that, yeah. I'm, going to, I'm going to be saving 2% every month, you will notice that you can actually do it for a year. Even more than a year without touching that money. Actually, when it is piggy vest and you go and put it in maybe tire saving or piggy bank, uh, you know that if you say you want to remove that money, they will charge you. And by the time you think about that charging fee, yeah. you will leave the money there. You, give up. <laughs> you will just give up and leave that money there. So how do you think people can also save? Okay, so another tip I, I, I would talk about, especially as we've mentioned apps, is some of these enjoyment apps for example netflix for example spotify <laughs> another example apple music prime video as i'm talking to you i'm talking to myself <laughs> oh. so there was this month you know that it's automated right uh, netflix is automated so once you once you mm -hmm. start the plan that day that you start the plan of the next month they remove your money mm -hmm. So me, mm -hmm. <laughs> there was this month that not even one month, it was about two months. I didn't watch any movie on Netflix because I was so busy with work at that in that in that period. So I wasn't really paying attention. I thought I forgot that I had the app. But I wake up wow. early in the morning, La Rock with Kutu. This people have removed their money from my iPhone. I'm like, can't people even ask me if I watch movies? Please? If I had the time, it can be so painful. <laughs> like, why are you put like this? So you know what I did one time? When I knew that this period I'm going to be very busy, I was working on a project, I just off the thing, removed my card from me. I'm like, you people should leave me alone. I'll be back later. They were sending me emails. We miss you, Jessica. When are you going? We have new shows for you. I say, you people will be fine. You always be fine. But if you whether I watch movie or not, so stay the best. So if you're like that, you know that within a certain period of time, you will not be available to use the service. You can disable your card. Remove your yeah. money so when you are able, so that will help you save money. If I calculate the money I've spent on those poor God Netflix <laughs> from when I joined that till now, <laughs> I should have shares with them. So you see, it's important because all of this, we still need these things. And the, especially us that don't like going out, we have to chill, watch movies, and all of that. Yeah. But if you notice Take that, Abby, in the house, right? Okay. So if you notice that in a certain period, you're not going to be using those those apps you can just remove your card or disable it for the moment thank you yes. so much for sharing that that was so good thank you for sharing that because i'm very sure that so many people are on this table <laughs> you know, my husband does that Netflix, and he will forget that <laughs> card, yeah he will not watch it for three four weeks you know yes. it's what they are removing they they he sees maybe another like that they not remember oh, oh my card <laughs> So please, you can actually check all those apps that you are paying. <laughs> Go and remove your card if you know that you are not using it judiciously. Mm -hmm. Stop. 
so like so even people that subscribe for maybe let's say go go TV and be a TV. You are not you don't run your TV or there's no light in your areas. Exactly. You are just wasting your money. Sheba, do you have anything to say? Uh, um, anything? Well, I think when you are saving, you should also we should also see saving as a way of spending because you are spending the money in your savings account, and then you are. Spending it to probably depends on what you're saving for, probably short term investments, you're saving for a goal or something. So we should just also see it as money going somewhere. The same way we are spending money mm. to buy clothes, we're also spending money to save. And, and all that, in a way, has helped me to, you know, put the mind there that, okay, so I'm using this money for so and so things. So I should not just go and be deep in my hand, you know, like, because I have the access to it or something like that. Wow. Thank you so much for that. That was, that was actually important that we're actually saving to even spend. You definitely spend that money. But what are you spending that money? Yeah. Some people will save after saving their money you, at the end of December, they will now blow it. <laughs> That's in December. <laughs> they, will <not> they will blow it. Or the Bible is still for actually be safe that yes. it's not planned so for. I'm going to be spraying money. Mm -hmm. Are you the reason their money to impress, impress who does not exactly care. Ah. Not care about you. <laughs> So ah. let's stop it. If you're on that table, please stop stop it. If you have actually been saving in August and you are planning to blow it up in December to show off, maybe with friends, you know, people like doing hangouts during December period. You see, old school assertion, you go there and you blow the money off. Instead of you using it to do something tangible, probably getting a landed property. Or buying a house or you blow it up just because you feel that oh it's my savings no <laughs> why are you saving? <laughs> review that review your review that why the reason why you are saving you can actually think about it am i saving so that i can am i saving only for enjoyment your saving only should not be for enjoyment it should be for investment as well it should be, it can even be for your health you can save for the future emergency <laughs> Yes, emergency savings. Don't just think for enjoyment alone, and you just want to blow the blow money up and let people know what's happening to you. You have a right, I know. Do you have any tips again before we call it a day or an evening? <laughs> mm, okay, I'll say that another tip that I usually employ is. I buy things when I really need it. Mm. So if I do not need a red shoe, I am not going to buy a red shoe. <laughs> Except if they tell me, okay, there's this, um, there's this gathering we have to do. Or they, especially then when I was in choir, <laughs> not now again. Then when I was in choir, I used to do that a lot. And there was choir, like, one of us. We are wearing red skirts. Hey, hey, we're not asking for red skirts. That's the only thing that will maybe go to the market to buy red skirts. I'm not going to wake up one morning and say, okay, so today I don't have anything to do with my life. I just want to buy red skirts. <laughs> it's not going to happen. If I'm looking for a particular kind of dress or a particular kind of outfit or shoe or any fashion item, it's because I need it for something. Not because I just want to blow my money. Do you understand? So that can also help someone. Because some, some ladies now, once they get it, ah, I have black shoe, but I don't have a red shoe. I have black bag, but I don't have a... Why do you need a red bag? <laughs> if you don't need it, it's fine. Right? If you need it... So if you have the money... I said if you have the money... So we have the money. <laughs> Mumi, Mumi feels like you're on this table. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what has helped me though. But if you have the money, that's fine. You can get any color of shoe or bag that you have. Or if you are still trying to, you know, put things in order with your finances, you don't have to get every color if you don't need every color. Yes, that's my point. <laughs> that's it from me. Wow. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you so much, Shewa. It's been... Thank you, Maria. 
evening tonight. Thank you for the topic. It's actually interesting. Um, if you have any questions, you can actually put it in the comment section. Thank you for joining CLL4 3136. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce that too well. But you know that I'm talking to you. Thank you for joining. Fumimito, thank you so much for joining. If you have anything that you want to share, any contribution, you can actually put it in the chat section. We'll read it. And if not, um, thank you so much for joining. As many that have joined today, we want to appreciate you. And we hope that you make some changes with your finances and with your purchases. You don't just go for everything, anything or everything. So, and um, by making this, um, making the right or wise choices, it will actually help you save a lot of costs, and it will even help your mental health as well. You won't be thinking of what is not there. You know all this imaginary life. You are collecting twenty k. You are already living like somebody collecting two hundred million. <laughs> yes, you should investigate that person. <laughs> so, do you have anything to tell our audience this evening? <laughs> Jessica and Chewa, <laughs> your last word this evening. On Save your as much as you can. Mm. Yeah, so, as much as you can, can be 1K every month. As much as mm. you can, can be 10K every month. But make sure you save as much. Yeah, uh, save as much as it, you can. Consistency is the most important thing in saving because you have yeah. to do it gradually over a long period of time for it to actually make sense. Because yeah. if you're just saving in 10k this month and then you wait till the next three months, over time you'll even lose the vibe to save and all of that. And then if you don't have anything that you're saving towards, you also might not want to save. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. As much as possible, let's avoid interest buying as well to help us. So thank you so much, ladies, for today's episode thank on Monday. Thank you. So next week again, thank we'll you. by 5 p.m., for another girl conversation, please let's share the links with our friends and with and our families. Even your enemy, you can actually share with them and be of help to them. And if you want to join one diva community, click the link in the bar, and you will get um, an instruction on how you can actually be a part of one diva. Thank you so much, and have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.